Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Ant. In previous videos, we learned that there are four great apes, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans. Some scientists would say there is a fifth great ape species, bonobos, but I disagree. My disagreement is based primarily on Ernst Mayer's definition of a species. Species are groups of actually or potentially interbreeding natural populations which are reproductively isolated from other such groups." Unquote. Reproductively isolated means that if individuals from different groups mate, they either cannot produce live offspring or the offspring they produce are infertile. Horses and donkeys are two different species because mules are infertile. When chimps and bonobos mate, they produce live offspring who are fertile. Therefore, they are the same species. But, 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 say those who view chimps and bonobos as separate species. Chimps and bonobos don't look alike. Bonobos are darker with neatly parted hair and a slimmer build. Here's an image of two males. One is a chimp and one is a bonobo. Do they look different? Somewhat. Do they look different enough to be different species? No. Now let's look at this image. Are they two different species? Of course not. But, 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 they say. Bonobos live in an isolated patch of forest in the Congo cut off from chimps by the Congo River. The two groups can't meet and mate. They are isolated geographically and have been for thousands of years, so they must be different species. Now, prior to 10,000 years ago, Tasmania was connected to Australia. Then, 10,000 years ago, the ice sheets melted and the sea level rose by 100 meters. Tasmanians were cut off from contact with any other humans for 10,000 years. Did they become a different species due to geographic isolation? No, they did not. In fact, European men proved it by having children with indigenous Tasmanian women. This woman married an Englishman and they had 11 children. But, 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 bonobos have very different behaviors from chimps. Bonobo females form strong bonds which allow them to control male behavior, and bonobos solve all their problems with sex. Chimp males totally dominate females. They would rather make more war than make love. I agree that there are major behavioral differences, but are those differences large enough to declare bonobos and chimps to be different species? Are differences in behavior enough to declare these women members of different species? No, of course not. So if appearance, isolation, and behavior are not enough to declare human populations members of different species, why should chimps and bonobos be different species? They should not be. They are just different populations of one variable species. Conclusion, there are four species of great apes, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, which includes bonobos, and humans. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.